have a seat. You're here for your uh, cranial nerve exam. This one, our cranial nerve exams work a little bit differently. And the ones you get at your regular doctor's office. Ours look at the underlying things and we're gonna test your brain capabilities. See if you can see the things that a lot of people cannot see or hear for that matter. Yes, it's basic. Did you take your physical uh, test yet? Excellent. That's great to hear. Yes, they have a lot of promise. Um, a lot of people are feel you have a very promising future here at the institute. Yeah, the shady institute. We uh, we always want the best, and we want people that think outside the box and are open, very open-minded. You have to be open-minded. And I looked at some of your psychological reports as well, and you have some experience with some of the paranormal things in particular. So it's always nice to have people who experience with things as well. But anyway, <clears throat> let's just start this real quick. All right. Um, oh, first things first. I just want to scan around the head and neck area to make sure we do this with everybody who has these tests. Don't you know, take offense to it, but we have rivals that have infiltrated us through unknowingly. You know, we have recruits come in unknowingly. They had implants put into them and stuff, so I just have to... Yeah, can you just turn your head? And the other side. This is just scanning for any kind of implants or foreign objects that could be in there. I get the ping on the screen there. All right, seems good to go. And this is the latest model of this device. Would you like a piece of gum? I chew it sometimes, I get migraines bad. <laughs> I've been in this game a long time, so, you know, things happen. And, uh, <laughs> I've had all types of things, uh, scan, head scans and things put in there and whatever. <laughs> I actually got them even before I came to the Shady Institute. All right, that seems fine. All right, let me just, just look straight ahead at me. I just want to look into your eyes, yeah. seeing anything in there that could be an issue. All right, now you can follow it. Yeah, follow the light. There you go. Uh-huh. Turn around real quick. Let me just look in. I want to look in your ears. All right, the other side. That's fine. Like I said, we've had moles in here on purpose. Spies come in on purpose. But they've also, you know, we've had recruits and even just agents, seasoned veterans, <laughs> unknowingly have been with an implant or anything, you know, the, the, our rivals are no joke. They are, you know, the higher-ups wouldn't like me saying this, but in some ways they're surpassing us in terms of technology and uh, technique. 
and a few other things. I think we're getting a little complacent here, to be honest with you. Okay. Real quickly, as you can see, there's events here. <clears throat> I just need you to close your eyes and kind of just relax yourself. And we're going to send in little streams, you know, little mists. They're going to be specific smells. I don't want you to pick up on these smells. All right, tell me what you think they are. <clears throat> All right. All right, yeah, so just close your eyes. Yeah, we can begin the smell test. Yeah, first one. What do you smell? Exactly right, that is an ectoplasm smell. You do say you've had experience with paranormal stuff, so we figured we'd throw that one out first, and you got it easily, so. All right. Second smell, please. What are you picking up? Excellent. Sasquatch, Bigfoot fur. It, 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 even they're just, they're, I say their fur is a little bit, they have a specific scent. Now, have you had any encounters with it? No, but you've had, you've, all right, no, you know what? You were given information and you use that information. That's good. That is a scent of the Sasquatch, which there are a lot of them. And they are, you know, you see these people, a lot of documentaries and people are like, oh, they're full of shit or whatever. Most of them honestly aren't. These Sasquatches are extremely intelligent. They don't get the recognition for that or the respect for it. They're good at keeping themselves hidden. There's a reason for it. <clears throat> we don't, we don't bother with them. We do actually have two in our employ. Um, <laughs> I'm going to get into that a little bit later in terms of things, but yeah, exactly. We know plenty about them. Uh, <clears throat> we do. We take people seriously, even if we think they're full of it. We will give them the time of day. <clears throat> okay. Okay, anyway, sorry, sorry. I'm there. A third send, send in, please. Picking up anything there? Yep. Those are pine needle scent. That's just kind of a throw in, kind of a regular scent. <clears throat> no, we just want to get you scent. The first two were the kind of main ones. We want to see if you can pick up on unusual scents, so to speak. All right, last one. Last scent, please. Picking up anything there? That's what that is. I know it's kind of an unfortunate scent, but it is a rotting flesh type smell. You're going to come into contact with a lot of this smell because of what we are up against. And this is the problem. You know, I, I'm not going to talk about that. It's like I'm saying, we, oh, uh, I've mentioned arrivals. We need to... I don't know why they don't come together because we have greater threats than each other here. But, all right, so that's the scent portion. I say that because the, the rotting flesh is similar. I know it sounds disgusting, but it's because there are life forms from other planets that are coming here and doing their own experiments. Now, <laughs> we have a lot to catch up on on that front. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's a lot of... You'll get on count of that smell, I'm just going to tell you that. <clears throat> okay, so we've done your smell. Um, oh, real quickly. I know I did the scan on you with the thing, but I just want to feel around your neck and the back of your head. All right. hurts, right? Good. All right. I 
like to feel around to see if there's anything, any bumps or anything like that as well. Some of these implants they're putting into people are very, they can avoid detection from that sometimes, you know. Basic feel around with <laughs> your hands will do the trick. Okay. Um, let me actually feel around here. That's fine. Okay, so. Did the scent. We gotta do your hearing. Do a little more sight. That's what we focus on here. <clears throat> Resistance tests and stuff aren't something that is required. Anyway, let me, uh, I don't know what I'll leave them on. I'm going to do a quick sight test here. This is the basic chart. All right, yeah. Keep both your eyes open. Take a look at the chart. How far down can you read? I'm not going to start you at the top. Oh, that's perfect on 10. How about 11? Fuck, excellent. You got really good eyesight in both eyes. All right. Close the right eye. All right, 10 again. Now close the left. All right. Man, yeah, you got right down the well. That is excellent, actually. Great. Now, same thing. Look straight ahead. Start at the top one, right? What do you see? E, two, right? What do you see? F, P. Three. Perfect. T-O-Z. What do you see, though, between lines four and six? Concentrate on lines four through six. Yes, yes. That is a message in there. You see how the letters are lined up here? L-P. E, D, P, a lot of P's in there, C's, a lot of E's and C's and D's in here. You're picking up the code. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, real quickly, what are these colors? Green, red. Oh, yeah, real quick, what does line 8 say? Yep. 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 Perfect. Now, you were able to pick up that code. I don't know why I said which is good. Like I said, we want people that have certain attributes. <clears throat> you picked up on that, though. There's a code in there. That code's in all those charts, actually. Very few pick up on it. Some see it and won't mention it, because why the fuck would you? <clears throat> but here, we want you to pick up on that code. <clears throat> gives you a kind of a code to a date of a specific happening, but that doesn't matter. It's in there. Let's see who can pick it up. <clears throat> we will teach you more about those specific letters and how we use them in communicating to kind of, so other people can't tell what we're saying and stuff. <clears throat> okay. That's sight. All right. Now we're going to do some hearing. Just kind of close your eyes again. I'm going to whisper the numbers. And just tell me the numbers. This is a basic thing. <laughs> crazy, right? All right, just close your eyes. Six, four, three, one. Exactly, yep. I'm going to go real low to the point of being inaudible. Tell me what you hear. All right. We're, we're going to see how good that hearing is. All right. Perfect. Other ear. Yeah. 
Excellent. That's good hearing. All right. One more. I'm just going to go with another one here. Keep your eyes closed. Excellent. Listen for this. Where'd that come from? Exactly. Perfect. How about this? Behind you. Excellent. And this? In front of you. Excellent. All right. You can open your eyes. Hearing solid. Actually, the sight is amazing, to be honest. Excellent hearing as well. You very, you definitely are open-minded. Um, your scent picked up all those scents very well, also. <clears throat> we don't know. I mean, taste. I know some people will do the taste thing. We don't. It's not necessary. I was well uh, for us. The same thing with like resistance tests. It's not. Not needed. <clears throat> what you're going to be doing. Sight and hearing are the two keys, and scent as well is a big one. We'll give you more scent things as well. You're going to learn more about certain scents, especially because we're in the woods a lot. So you want to pick up scents of certain plants and flowers and animals and all that. You know, <clears throat> and other unique uh, scents. <clears throat> Hold on a sec. Yeah. Yeah, give me a few minutes. We're almost done here. Yeah, I'll be down there in a few. All right. <clears throat> meeting. There's always meetings, I will say, around here. Something's always happening in the world and outside of the world. Do um, you have any questions? Uh, yeah, I meant it. We are going up against, there are outside other planets, there are other galaxies here. One specific uh, planet in a very far away galaxy has been monitoring us. Um, we don't know for good or bad yet, but I'll let you know that. And also, like I said, we have Sasquatches in our play. Oh, um, apologies. I have one more test. And uh, it's been ongoing since the beginning. I didn't even bring it up. But I know you had paranormal experiences with ghosts and stuff when you were a little bit younger. <clears throat> we also have spirits, ghosts in our employ as well. Yep. And we had one in the room with us the whole time. Your constitution, your willpower is extremely high. We asked the spirit to try to possess you during the thing. And we have the monitors up there. None of your wavelengths, your brain patterns are hard. And nothing changed. None of your vitals changed. And, and, and it was trying fairly hard to get in there. You have extremely high willpower. You have an extremely good constitution as well, which is good. That's a test we kind of just do for people. And you'll know if they get possessed, you'll know. It'll be a low-level possession, you know. Your attitude will change and stuff, and then kind of all of a sudden, they're like, oh, you know, and didn't happen with you. Stayed steady the whole time. Everything was there. That's good. Because you're going to be in that paranormal division. And ghosts and the like will be a big thing you have to deal with. But, uh, like I said, we have ghosts, as one, vampires, anything. We had, there are a lot of things on this planet that people don't want to admit are real, they are, and they can help us in battles against otherworldly opponents if it comes to that. We need everything. Right. You'll meet a lot of interesting folks here for sure, but anyway, you did extremely well here for sure, and now you, you did physical, you did psychological, now you did this. Uh, you even know what's up next? Oh yeah, all right, that makes sense. <clears throat> Yeah, they'll brief you on some stuff. I think you're working with, um, oh, I think it's Drexler. You'll be working with Drexler. Um, he's good. For sure, you should get along with him fairly well. I actually don't know his first name. <laughs> we use a lot of last names here. 
I don't know everybody's name. There's a lot of us here. Oh, I think it might be Clyde. <clears throat> and also you might be partnered with, if you do specific deep woods things and you're training there for more sense, you're going to be working with, uh, oh, Williams, Jessica Williams. She's good as well. We have a lot of talented people here, um, for sure, but they'll both treat you well, <clears throat> for sure. All right. Well, I got to go to this meeting, and uh, good luck with the briefings. All right, yeah. It's good to meet you. All right. Oh, more meetings. We got ourselves a promising agent here, though. I like that. All right, time to get this.